All right. We're good to go. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, glad you guys got on the call here today. We're, we're discussing caring transitions. They came highly recommended by Sandy Gullish. She um, has used them uh, a good bit in the past. And we have Carolyn here with us today, and she's going to give us some insight on the services that they have to offer. Um, with that being said, Carolyn, you want to introduce yourself and, and tell us what you guys do. Sure. Good morning. Uh, my name is Carolyn Durr, and I'm the owner of the Caring Transitions in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, we are a franchise, so there are 250 or so offices in the United States, um, which is a benefit in that if people are moving out of state, often we can provide services on both ends um, of a move. Um, so we have probably three different areas of what, it, what we do. We work primarily with seniors, although we work with anyone, but we, my staff has special training to work with seniors um, and because they, they seem to have the most obstacles and the most, um, they're, they're most nervous about a move, especially later in life. Um, a lot of times they've lost a spouse um, they're doing this for the first time on their own, and it can be a very um, upsetting situation. So um, I have a great team of folks. We're about 18 large now, and I have um, what I call a move team, and then I have an estate team, and I have a clean out team. So, um, so starting with the move, when we meet a client, um, a lot of times they are living in a great big house. Now they're going to be downsizing to a smaller house or possibly moving into a senior living community. And they can only take a small portion of what they own into this smaller house. So part of what we do is we work with them a one on one or two on one or whatever they're most capable of doing to help them go through problem areas in their home, um, accumulations that they have. Um, and we go through them, help them decide what they can take with them to fit in their new home, and then what they should get rid of at some point as well. Um, sometimes we're working with people who just need what we call sorting and organizing to get a home ready to maybe to be shown, to be put on the market. Um, sometimes people, speaking of, in, mostly in terms of what you guys do, when they're putting a house on a market, they're either, they want to get it staged and ready to go, or they want to get it emptied out and sell it empty. So we can do kind of either one of those things. We don't do formal staging, but um, we will help them declutter and get the areas, you know, looking better for photos and things like that. So uh, once the staff has taken the time to go with, over the, with them, what they're going to keep, what they're going to not keep, they actually pack everything. So we'll get everything packed up. Then we work with a moving company. Usually we work with George Weaver and Son, although we have worked with other companies as well. And we um, <clears throat> get the moving company in. They come, they move the boxes, move the furniture. And then we um, do the unpacking on the other end. So we'll um, empty out all of the boxes um, and we will, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm at the tail end of a cold, a Thanksgiving cold. But um, so uh, we will get their apartment all set up, their house all set up, we'll make their beds, we'll hang um, shower curtains, whatever needs to be done to get their, them living in their home on that very same day. Then <clears throat> what we do is we come back to the house. That's when my estate team jumps in. And we do, um, in most cases, we'll do either, um, we have a couple of options. We call it a house clean out in any case. Um, that could mean bringing in a dumpster, throwing everything into a dumpster. It could mean um, a combination of throwing things in a dumpster and donation, or we could do a sale. We have two types of sales that we do, um, although we primarily use online auction. When uh, COVID happened, the online format just really took off. Um, so much so that we had to launch a whole new site. So our auction site is called CT Bids. And that is the site that all of the Caring Transitions owners use <clears throat> to liquidate homes. Um, so what we do, essentially, we go into the home, 
we sort through everything that's left, we put them into lots, and then we take pictures of those lots, write descriptions, and then they go live onto the auction site. Um, and we, we take enough pictures and enough, uh, write enough description that people don't have to come and see the items. They can actually bid based on the information that we give them. So the sale takes place over the course of about a week. Um, at the end of the sale, we invoice all of the winners, we collect the money, and then we have what we call a pickup day. It's usually on a Saturday. So um, uh, the people come to pick up the items that they've won and staff would be there to get those that order ready for them and for them to take it away. Um, so if, if we have a client that is doing an online auction, keeping in mind that the pickup day is usually on a Saturday and early week close. So if they're up against a hard closing for their house, a Friday closing, we lose a whole week. So we, we and, you know, a lot of times if they'll allow us to work with the real estate agent, you know, we'll tell them that as well, that an, a Monday or a Tuesday, better a Tuesday um, closing is much better for us than a Friday because then we're not losing that whole week there. Um, so once the house is empty, anything that's left in there, we would then donate um, or trash, do a trash removal. We do a broom sweep and a vacuum, and then their house is completely empty and ready for closing. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. A lot of times um, we also work with the states um, when someone has passed away or maybe a house has been sitting empty for a period of time. Um, we have done some hoard situations. Uh, we, we do work with hordes, um, but not toxic hordes. We're not licensed for that kind of thing, like such as molds and feces and things like that. So that we would kind of pass off to a serve pro or something like that for remedy. Um, but we have done a lot of very, very full houses. <laughs> um, our turnaround time <clears throat> for a sale is two weeks from a Monday to a Monday. And we start our job on a Monday. Usually we have the sale up for a week. We have the pickup and then we have that final Monday for a final clean out and trash removal and things like that. Um, if we're doing a move as well, we prefer to get the client moved out first and then do the sale. It's a lot easier to set the sale up when there's no one living in the home versus when there is someone living in the home. A lot of times they start having second thoughts about things, taking things back out of lots, moving things around, and it can just cause some some headaches on pickup day, but but we can do it that way if necessary. We know that some people, um, they may be moving, but they might need that closing money in order to get into their new home. So, so we work with it either way. Um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, we do, as I said, we do the dumpster cleanouts as well. If it's, if the stuff isn't worthy of selling or if the costs are gonna be more than what we would get back for the items, then we might recommend a straight clean out to a dumpster and donation. Um, sure. that way. But well, we do a free consultation always, and we go in and we look at the situation and then we give them the best plan of action from there. Awesome. Well, I also um, read on there, you do some di divorce relocation and services in those instance. Yes, well. we have done a few of them. Um, as I said, a lot of our, our um, referral sources are senior living communities, which I guess tends to be why we have a lot of people coming from the senior communities. Sure. But but yes, we have done that in multiple cases. Um, that we've had people who are just moving out of state and they kind of have to leave now and can't really handle you know what's left on this end. So we've done that as well. Okay. Um, the situation really doesn't matter. You know, It's just that the services that we offer kind of work for anybody. Sure. Um, now, the services that you guys offer and do, is it sort of a a la carte sort of thing where you can pick and choose what you might need, or is there certain packages that you guys offer? Um, how does that work? So, yes. So, pretty much everything is a la carte. So, if somebody's moving, um, we offer them, uh, we have an estimate sheet. We offer them um, space planning, which would be, um, we would go to their new home, measure measure the furniture that they hope to bring with them, find placement for it, and that way we're prepared for, um, for moving day. Um, I would quote them for packing. I would quote them for move management. Move management is kind of required. We, we are a move manager. We're not a moving company. So if, if someone has 
family doing all their packing and all they need is a truck, that's not us, you know, because we work with a moving company. So, um, so there would be that. Then there, the move. So the move management would be, um, we would secure the moving company, take care of all those details, um, get the quote for them of because they will con contract directly with that mover. And then we're there the morning of the move to oversee that move, to pack up the last minute items that they have needed over the last day or two and oversee the moving company, get everything onto the truck, making sure they only put on what's supposed to go and not stuff. Because a lot of times with these a kind of moves, not everything is going. It's a lot easier when everything is going, but when some of it's going and some of it's not, you kind of need that extra set of eyes on there to make sure only the right things get put on the truck. Um, so that's move management. And then we have what we call resettling, and that would be um, <clears throat> the unpacking and taking away of the materials, the boxes. Um, so yes, I quote all of those things separately, and then they can pick and choose. Oh, I don't need space planning, or my kids are going to pack us, so I just need you to unpack. Yeah, so they can pick and choose all of that. When it comes to the house clean out, um, there are the, the three options would be the straight clean out, the clean out with donation, and the sale. Um, the sale, um, we, we use that mo most often, and that's because we don't like to put things in a landfill if we can avoid it. So if the items are usable by someone else, we do prefer to try to sell them. But again, it depends how much is in the home. Is it worth? Because there are costs involved. The costs um, would be, you know, how much time does it take us to take all those pictures, write all those descriptions and get the sale up and running? Um, so when I'm in there doing an estimate, that's what I'm trying to gauge um, is how much time is it going to take? Every house is very different. Some houses are very clean. Some houses we can come in and take pictures right away. Others, we might have to clean out all the drawers and uh, and then we're trying to be careful about important documents and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so every, you know, every house will be different. Um, so it's kind of package dealing when it comes to the sale. The way I quote it is, how many days will it take us to do the work? In the end, it will come down to the hours, but it, it's quoted kind of by days because it's a little easier to understand that way, that it's going to take us, you know, two days to do all this work plus a pickup day. Um, that's about our average is about a three day, three to four day. Okay. Awesome. Um, in exploring your site, um, reading through sort of these things, you definitely make it, um, completely hands-free and stress-free if that's what you know the client's looking for and if they're moving out of the area or out of state to a place that you don't particularly service um, it sounds like you do have you know the other franchises on the other end that they can um, help these folks set up the new house they exactly um, the way they want it is that correct Yes, and if we if there is not a franchise there, we can usually get close enough that they can recommend somebody who might be closer or better. But yeah, okay. usually we can help them with that. Awesome, awesome. Um, so for our area, what would you say are kind of limits of service area? Because we do have um, some agents that work for us up in Potter County, and we also have people that service all of Adams, Franklin, those counties, um, how far is your range in this area? So I'm based in Mechanicsburg and we will go up to an hour from the, my location. So I'm in the Silver Spring area. Okay. So we go um, as far as um, some of the further areas we go to would be like New Oxford, um, Fayetteville. Um, we'll do Hershey. Now there is a carrying transitions in Lancaster. So her area kind of will a butt up to mine, but yeah. truly I'm the only one in this area that we can kind of go about an hour in all directions. Okay. But once you start getting to some of those further ones, there may be another carrying transitions already in that area. Awesome. Awesome. Um, at this point, Sandy, I'd like to maybe ask you how your experience has been and, you know, how, like when you brought her in, in the process and how all that worked. You know, I was trying to remember how long ago it was. Uh, I think it was 2016 um, for this area that I used her used you last. Um, it was for a, a couple called, uh, their last name was McMullen and it was in Delancey Court. 
Um, and they were moving, she was moving, uh, it was a single, single woman, <clears throat> and she was moving into, let's see, Messiah, I believe. Um, and they helped with all of the packing. Uh, and she was having, I think, a bit of dementia at the time. So um, they, her son, I think, had them do most everything to clean mm -hmm. up, get it ready for sale, um, do, do the moving. Um, so he was just thrilled with, uh, with uh, caring transitions and couldn't say enough about them. Uh, recently, as a matter of fact, currently, um, my sister-in-law is moving down from Massachusetts and she used caring transitions up there. Um, and they um, helped her with organization packing and all of that. Again, these are all seniors. Um, and I really think that for the senior community, um, caring transitions is just terrific. Um, they're also a help to us as realtors because a lot of times our clients want us to step in and, and do this stuff. And a lot of times we don't have the time or energy to take, take on some of the jobs that uh, our clients want us to do. Uh, but I find that referring them out is, uh, is great. And uh, as Carolyn said, you know, they can do as little or as much as they want. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and some are more involved in the process than others. Um, some are more capable. I try to kind of gauge that when I do the consultation is how prepared are they? Um, because that will determine, you know, if they know some people, you know, I'm taking that, I'm taking that, I don't need that. Other people, will, they have, they don't really know. Um, and so that will change, you know, what our role is in that, you know, how much um, assistance do they need? Um, so we try to kind of determine that as well while we're in the consultation. Okay. I had another client, I, um, and I can't remember the last name on it, but they moved out to, to Denver, Colorado, and they also used Caring Transitions. Um, a lot of times, I don't know exactly what she's done for them, uh, because they, I just put her them in contact with caring transitions of let them handle it from there. Okay. All right, so you uh, basically, Carolyn, what you're saying is that it, it all comes down to some kind of an hourly situation. Is that correct? Is how many uh, work hours you spend at whatever part of the transition that you're yes. talking about? Yes, in the end, it does come down to hours, okay. time spent. We, is it uh, some kind of a guesstimate hourly rate that you charge or? Um, the move services, the packing, unpacking, they range from uh, 55 to 65 per man hour. The okay. sale setup is more closer to 40, 35 to 40 per hour, because that's a big, bitter, bigger project, obviously there. All right. Um, yeah, and, so it does just depend which services they're yeah. using. So. Um, how, how many hours, I know it, it's dependent, average-wise, what are you spending for a, a, a sale setup? Um, a sale setup, typically, the average cost, I would say, is probably around 3500 for the labor. Um, and that would be two days fully staffed, which would be uh, 32 man hours a day. Um, of picture taking, writing descriptions, and then a third day for the pickup day where, where we're there to have people to come and the final clean out. So I would say the average is probably 3,500. If it's a very large house or a very full house, it might go closer to 5,000. Sure, okay. That, that gives us some idea of, of where, and that is really relatively cheap and instead of keeping the group keeping the relatives out of it uh, and, you know, having somebody, a third party do the, the hard work, so to speak. Right, right. Um, any other questions from the group? Yeah, at this point, I'd like to open it up to everyone else. If you guys have questions, um, feel free to unmute yourself and, and ask Carolyn. Anybody?
Well, if no one has any questions, Carolyn, I can't thank you enough. Uh, we appreciate oh, you guys. Okay. Yeah, Carolyn. Yeah, have a question. Okay, Seth, shoot. Carol, I'll get to you after, after Seth. Go hi, ahead, hi, Carol. Hi, Carolyn. It's nice to meet you. I'm so impressed with everything that you do. I'm just curious, um, uh, how do you folks sell like the furniture if you can't donate it? Do you have a warehouse or just just so curious on that? Do you have logistics um, or charities or something like that? So all of the work takes place in the client's home, which is why it takes two weeks. We do oh, not okay. transport anything out. Um, and furniture, you know, we used to have a really hard time with furniture. And then when COVID happened and people are having a harder time getting furniture, it's kind of done a little bit of a turnaround there. So typically, you know, we may not get a lot for it in the end. If we don't, if we can't sell it online and say get $50 or hundred dollars, then at the last, at the pickup day, we also have another opportunity to try to sell it to the people that are picking up. So we use that opportunity as well to try okay. to sell it. Um, donation has been a little trickier now. You, it's very hard to donate certain things. If it's not donatable, then it becomes trash at that point. We, after mm -hmm. we have two opportunities to try to sell it uh, or give it away at that point, because now we know we're going to have to pay to have it removed. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just good to know that you that you just don't put it in a landfill, like you said, and try to outsource it to maybe other people that you know, want to pay or even donate it. So that's, right. it's a good thing. Now, some furniture is a little bit more beat up than others. Sure. If, if nobody wants it, of course, then it does become landfill, but we do yeah. everything we can to avoid having the trash things. All right. Well, thank you. Sure. Yeah, awesome. Carolyn, good morning. Thank you for joining us. What is your website? It's um, Caring Transitions. Mech, M E C H P A dot com. Now that's my uh, local website. They are in the process of um, revamping it a little bit. So that'll be happening. Um, if you're looking for a caring transitions that would be outside of our territory, if you go to just caring transitions dot com, there's a map on the bottom where you can put in a zip code and it'll pop up who's closest. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Kara, I will send that out with the recap as well then too. That way you have the, the link in the email. Yeah, and I can send um, like a, a digital brochure possibly if that would be helpful. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions before we wrap up? All right. Well, Carolyn, thank you again. We really appreciate it. This was um, a great conversation. I am going to put uh, this recap into a video that we can send out to our other agents who weren't able to attend the, the live session. Um, but uh, thank you again. We appreciated uh, you doing this for us. Sure. Thank you for having me. Yep. Happy holidays. All right, guys. Have a great week. Okay. Thank you.